Y'all. Gotta talk with a safari voice. How the heck do you get up here? Right here. Just Chanel here. Hey guys, it's Just Chanel here. Welcome to my channel. So today I am taking a mental health day, okay? I just went on a little road trip. I'm about to stop at this fresh market right here and grab some food for the road. I have like coolers and stuff in my trunk. I'm picking up my brother and then we're going to some like mini Grand Canyon place. So yeah, I'm really excited. I'm gonna get like some fruit and tuna and I guess whatever else I can find. So let's go ahead and head in the store. Um, this will kind of just be like a really relaxing vlog. Make sure you are subscribed because I'll have a few more vlogs coming really soon. My birthday's this month, so <laughs> it's gonna be lit, okay? But your girl has been swamped in tea, like drowning in tea orders. And I just needed to take a day to myself and well, I guess with my brother too, but let's uh, let's go in here and um, you know get some diddles, as my granny would say. Oh, okay, that was a fail. No more than 75 guests allowed in our store at one time. I'm almost at 100k, by the way. So if you're not subscribed, that's all I want for my birthday. Please subscribe. <laughs> the roasted chicken salad. This looks kind of good. Roasted butternut squash with pecans or pecans, however you say it, and uh, cranberries. Oh, I'm definitely gonna get some of this cucumber salad. And what else? I think I'm gonna go to the Publix and get fruit because their fruit here is like extremely expensive. It's a little um, disturbing actually. Deli meats, yeah. I'm just gonna go get fruit at Publix. Coffee soda? Didn't even know that was a thing. Hmm, so many options. Okay. Let's go with, um... <laughs> I think I'm just gonna go with coconut water. I don't know if my brother drinks coconut water, but we'll just get this. Yogurt may be a good idea. A dairy free yogurt, because the girl's trying to get abs, okay? It looks like they don't have a lot of options here. Um, I'm not a big fan of the silk or the so maybe i'll try this one hopefully it's good i'll just get the vanilla all right i found wine y'all and then i found this i love this brand of popcorn it's a rose a flavored kettle corn like what so then Y'all know I had to get some rosé to go with my um, kettle corn. So I'm gonna have a whole little passenger side uh, party, okay? Because I'm so excited about this popcorn. I don't even know if it's gonna taste good. If it does though, I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna come back to the store and buy all the ones they have because I've never seen that by my house. Um, and they have about five I'm gonna buy for my birthday. It'll be real cute. All right, so I'm gonna run to Publix, get some fruit and ice, and then we're gonna pick up my brother and um get all this stuff in the cooler so that we can get on the road on friday ready for the road i have the cooler here with my wine I have water it's the coconut water um some gatorade down there for my brother i got hummus and this avocado mash i don't really like store-bought guacamole so i figured i'd try this which is just avocado salt pepper and lemon juice and then some fruit carrots to go with the guac or avocado and then of course the um chickpea like salad and the chicken salad down here 
Got a little bit of cheese. And then I'm just gonna put this um, spring mix on top because I'll probably make like some sort of salad on the road. Of course, the popcorns. So we have the rose popcorn and some white cheddar popcorn. And then I got pistachios, honey roasted almonds. These are oatmeal raisin cookies, some Ritz to go with the chicken salad, turkey pepperoni, some of these pretzel crisp for the hummus and oh yeah the sour patch kids down here then i just got some tupperware containers so that like you know for our salads and whatever else we want to make keep all these bags i always bring like grocery bags and forget to bring them in the store but since we are like doing a little road trip i figured these would be helpful for trash and let's go ahead and pour ice on this Keep it nice and cozy Oh, I don't have a cup for my wine. I didn't think about that. Y'all, I'm at the dang on Publix. I just got done putting this stuff in the car. And this guy is like, hey. And I'm like, okay, it's probably somebody trying to talk to me. Why is it my brother? Why is it? Y'all, this is why I got to turn my location off. This man came to me. We are here. Here. And it's Hot. Got my rosé. <laughs> <laughs> I brought some water too. I had this little bag that I ordered on Shein for actually my vacation to Brazil. And it, it came the day that we left to go to the airport. It literally got delivered like two hours before. And I just couldn't risk being late for the flight. So I am wearing it now. We are excited. It wasn't as far as I thought. So bro got the camera. Gatorade. Yeah, I can already see lots of red dirt. All right, so here we have a cultural and geological journey through time. We're not reading this, but we are at the Providence Canon. Um, I believe this opened up in the late 1800s. It says 1893. And yeah, oh, here's some trail basics. Okay. So the distance is seven miles. We ain't doing that. <laughs> um, oh wait, so there's one red blaze and then there's white blaze. White blaze is two and a half miles. Okay, cool. Which only takes an hour and a half. That's not too bad. I heard that there's a creek somewhere, so I'd love to find that. I just don't know like where exactly it is. Well, it's a lady right there. No, somebody that works here. We can ask her. Works here? Yeah. She, oh. she went into the. Um, oh, let's go. All right, we're gonna go get some info. Guys, so there's. I hear it again, <laughs> y'all. I just got chased by a giant fly. <sighs> but all right, so we're walking in mud. It's like they weren't lying. Literally walking in a stream. So there was like, I think three different trails. We were walking towards canyons one through three. There was also some like sites, but it said it was a seven mile hike. And then it was like needed items, boots, a map, and some other stuff. It was like, and nah, we ain't doing that. Then there was this other trail that was literally straight up. I'm glad there's like a lot of trees, so we kind of in the shade. A little bit. What? It looks so pretty though how the water is kind of going through everything. We found a trail. Y'all. How the heck do you get up here? <laughs> Alright. This is really pretty. <laughs> the Australian. <laughs> you talking about you gotta talk with a safari voice? Oh, this is real, like, Mushy. yeah, like, you gonna think. Mushy. It's not even just mud, it's like, all right. No, we should take a picture right here. This is dope. Definitely. Okay. All right, we just climbed up here. We just climbed up here. I don't know how we gonna get back down now. 
but the view is nice from just up here. Yeah. Real cute or whatever. Yeah, so the, um, this, well, this one's harder, like actual rock stone. But the one we were at at first is literally like different color clay, like pink and red. I'll show you guys when we get back down. I guess my brother's not coming up here. No, you got it. You got it. Real hiker. Real hiker. Hiker vibes. Sure. Yeah, they're so pretty. I don't know if they can really see it. Let me see. And prettiness and flies. <laughs> Okay. All right, so we're just going down this way because it's a little easier than the way we went up. Ooh. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I need one of those like GoPros. You just have it on my head or something. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's why they put this tree right here. The Lord knew what he was doing. The Lord knew he was doing this tree. Those steps right here, you know, this branch is actually is a root. So that thing is, but you know, people probably walk up here too to get to that Dang. white rock. I'm just going to jump. Okay. Oh, I, th I just got mad mud in my shoe, bruh. I'm muddy. We just trying to get back to the Gatorade and keep it moving. No, but this, um, so it's pretty cool because the, oh. Oh, you felt that? <laughs> it wet. <laughs> um, it's really, it's not rock. It's literally like sand. And it's so soft and just, mmm, mmm, mm, good. Okay, so I see what we did. I'm going to show you guys what we did. When we first started walking, we came from this way, and then we walked down, and we went there where my brother's going now. And so I climbed, well, we climbed all the way to the top of there and it was cool but we came back down on the other side somebody took your gatorade no, I gotta oh go. <laughs> oh he just gotta go back up and get his gatorade Whew. so yeah this is nice this is i guess the first canyon i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about with this rock sand situation i don't know if like canyons are all like this because i've never been to the grand canyon yeah. i really want to go so look at this and it's literally. We should have got some to carve our. Like, look at that. That's how soft it is. It's crazy. It's just completely. I definitely use my knuckle to carve it. My name Have my um, key. We're doing it. I don't know if you're supposed to do that. Isn't that ruining the earth? Okay. People like carve their stuff, but I mean, it's not gonna stay. We're all for the ecosystem. Right? There you go. Go green. I'm recycling this. There you go. Do the same. That's right. Okay, so headed to canyons two and three. I'm, I'm good. You can do it. We found another one and I'm going up. All right. Whew. All right, you're not going? Are you going to film me going? Okay. Y'all are watching her hike up the, you know. Go, girl. I know. <laughs> yeah. Thing is, when you go down. Okay. Oh, remember when we used to slide down the uh, the stairs <laughs> with the uh. <laughs> uh oh. What's up there. <laughs> so I'm going to eat you. Come on now. We got you on camera now. There you go. Guys, my big sister is a trooper, okay? Well, come on down then. I know. Come on, Rocky Balboa. Come on. Use them hands, use everything. There you go. There you go. 
Because guess what? I'm coming up there to take a dope picture. Guys, she made it to the top. Now pose. So she made it to the top. Now she's going to try to come down. She's going to slide. <laughs> Sorry for the glare, guys. The sun is right there beaming. Slide. Come on. There you go. No, don't. Stay low. Stay low. There you go. I don't want you to flip. All right. <laughs> no traction. <laughs> well, guys, she made it back down by sliding. Uh, hey, it was pretty good. <laughs> it was pretty fun, huh? Okay, okay. All right, y'all, we're going up another one. This is so dope. I don't really like outside, but I feel like when there's something definite to do or see, I'm I'm for it. Like not just to be outside for fun, like just cause and just be running around. Whew, I need a once in a lifetime experience. Oh shoot, this is dope. It's a glare, but man, wow. Okay, all right, I'm going in. They be kissing like catfish in mud. Ew. Feel like catfish would be in there. It's like a cave over here. Or not a cave. It's just like a big old hole. All right. Just took a little break. It's like what I like about this place is the sun is like out. It's hot, hot. But there's a lot of shade. So you can literally sit and just relax for a second. Somehow my hand is bleeding. I don't know what happened there. But moving on. I think this is what Canyon 2. So we still have maybe one more to see. Whew. It's not, uh, it's like really relaxing. You know, a little mental health day. Can't wait to get back to the car and eat some snacks. <laughs> hey, in the crack too long. Literally, so pretty. Oh, here's bugs. Y'all, come get your clay mask in here. <laughs> Where they uh just because of no, they were probably man made because and then people just followed them. Y'all think you people climb up here? Rock. That's crazy. Like, literally. Whew. All right. I think we're done for the day. Are we? We had some adventure. Gotta eat some dinner. It's a priceless experience. Yeah, it's kind of dope. You can kind of like, I like that, you know, it doesn't take long to do. You can like see stuff, get a good workout in, relax. And um, uh, there's like other cannons and there's a whole seven mile hike. There's a four mile hike. I think this is a two and a half. And hikers out there. Yeah, this is pretty dope. So you can do a whole day here if you wanted to, or you can just come down for a few hours. By the way, we're at, where are we at? Uh, Providence. <laughs> yeah, Canyon State, State Park. Park. Boom. I'll put it in the description box. Yeah. Huh? My arm is like completely white. From all the sand, dirt, stuff, what? You oh, think, that remind me of. You think it's a snake? Yeah, like we're just moving and leaving the oh, track. Oh, slick. <laughs> so my brother thinks this could be a snake. Like a little snake. Like y'all see how it kind of just is all it's literally all connected too. It goes like that. I'm gonna keep this. Uh, all right. 
light these days. Just make some more jump in the pool. We made it back. I feel good. I feel like I'm glowing. I thought I was gonna get a tan, but there wasn't as much sun actually like in the canyon as I thought. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna just shower, go get some dinner, hang out for a little bit before it gets dark, and then I'll be probably headed back home depending on what time it is. But this was this was good. I feel like I bought too many snacks. I mean, I guess I'll just have snacks in my house. Yeah, I really thought we was driving like hours away. And it, it did take me a few hours to get here, but once I got him, then it wasn't that far. So I got a lot of stuff, but that really gives me like, I probably eat that chicken salad and cucumber salad and stuff over the weekend. And I guess I'll just have snacks for like my birthday party and when friends and whatnot come over. So, whew, let's my shower, let's go. And drink some water. Oh, I got that coconut water. I'm gonna grab that and drink that while we're on the way back. So we're downtown. I wish we. I would have known. That's not. It's, it wasn't open like during quarantine, but then they uh -huh. started opening it. So you. Can oh, walk down we just, about to go white water rafting <laughs> next time I come down here. Rocks, I'm 40 man. adventures. The tour when they do like tours, mm -hmm. they start all the way down there, and then you just. Take They'll do it for you. Yeah. Yeah, cause I I may die over there. And then you come right here. Cause yeah, it's real rough over there. Dang. Dang. I thought it was like oh, this is like a legit zip line. Zip line. Yeah, zip line. You see that? You see that? Uh, oh, you can go from. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, you can actually, it's right there. The, the zip line tower right there. You walk up the stairs right there. Uh huh. And you get on the zip line and you go across the river. Oh yeah, we we about to have us a river day. We gonna bring some fishing rods too. Yeah, people be fishing at like three a.m. down here, chilling. Dang. And you could go to the river. Somebody level. flipped over down there. Mm -hmm. You can. Uh, you oh, they're go going the, to save them. You can go to the river level. You take them stairs right there. Yeah. And go down to the river level. Oh, the this is pretty right dope. There. But when it was flooded, the water was all the way like right here. All the way. Oh wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's why you see all that this debris really and stuff over there. All right, we at this little spot called the Black Cow. We've been here before with our parents. Um, so we're gonna get the creamy avocado dip. It was so good last time. And I don't know what I'm gonna get to eat. I had a salad and an omelet this morning and then just a few snacks in the car. Oh, you put this, you put this, uh, you put this. On the vlog last video. time, right? Yeah, it was in my vlog last time um, when my brother was moving onto his dorm. Maybe I'll do, I don't know. A little salad, y'all know Tito soda, three limes, and then this is so good. Oof, pita chips with this av creamy avocado dip. Mm -hmm. Everything here is made in house, so bomb. I started eating, y'all. My brother was like, "Wait, you're not gonna vlog it?" <laughs> I have forgot. All right, so I got like steak tips, peppers and onions with loaded mash. We already had our salads, and then he got shrimp and grits. Both of these look real good. I already tasted everything. <laughs> it's good. I'm gonna keep on eating. I'm getting sleepy, so I'm gonna get on the road soon. All right, y'all. So I am on my way back home. I am so tired, okay? Exhausted. Um, I really need to have one of those days again where I just don't do anything. <laughs> because I try to have one of those every single week, but I haven't had one in about three weeks. And yeah, I'm, I've been like around eight or nine o'clock every single night for the past week I have been so tired um, I'll tell myself like I'm gonna stay up and work you know I try to have a night or two every week that I stay up until like two in the morning or just after midnight but I have not been able to do it within the last week so I need some rest <laughs> I need some real rest okay but I want to set myself up for success tomorrow so I can get a lot done and hopefully I can rest a few days after that so when I get home I'm gonna share my little night routine this is like my exhaustion at night routine um, if you did 
not see my entrepreneur day in the life video check that out because I actually started the video at night and you were able to kind of see what my nighttime routine is like when I stay up and work but yeah when I get home I'm taking a shower your girl is taking a bubble bath um, and I'm probably just going to do like my real relaxation at night routine I guess you could say where I yeah I usually like will listen to a sermon uh, finish my night up with like a scripture and just kind of chill out so make some tea I already know I'm so full too oh my goodness I'm just gonna get my vibes going and I will catch you guys when I get home I'm so sleepy all right y'all I am finally home I took a shower I didn't take a bubble bath I'm so tired I'm so tired, but I need to wash my face <laughs> because um, I've been trying to make sure like I wash my face outside of the shower because something about the water being different, but it can't be that different. But anyway, I'm going to wash my face. Um, you guys know that I have been using the Foreo cleansing system. This thing is amazing. It's the Luna 3 by Foreo and it's not only a cleansing system, it's also a like massage, facial massage tool, it has 16 different settings. It's super hygienic because it's not like one of those brush heads it's silicone so yeah there's not a bunch of bacteria that's built up in this it helps with fine lines it helps with breakouts I mean if you y'all can see my face I will put a before picture of how my face looked before I was using this so I've been using it for about three weeks and then I switched some of my skincare products as well within the last week after going to my esthetician but she told me to just keep on using the Foreo cleansing system and then to use just cleanser so I have not been moisturizing my face <laughs> um, in the last about week or so week and a half maybe um i this this thing is amazing and it feels so good i keep mine on setting eight on level eight but like i said it goes up to 16 and it's just a really thorough cleanse um when you turn it on you don't need a lot of soap so i like to put my soap directly on it and i just wet it i say soap but you know it's really facial cleanser um and you just go to work it feels so good it's amazing. I love that you can use it right under your eye. So I always do that because I find that, you know, I, I used to wear eye cream before I changed these whole, this product thing, but I would never really cleanse that much under my eyes. And I felt like there was a lot of gook that would be built up. And sometimes I'd get like those really tiny, tiny bumps under my eye. And I felt like that's because I wasn't able to clean as well. Also amazing for your nose. Um, you know, your nose is where you get a lot of blackheads and just, that's really why I like going to an esthetician every now and again. The last time I got a facial before the one I got last week was a year ago. So I was definitely due for a facial and yeah, I'm glad I went. I'm glad I've been using this because it has cleared my skin up so much. If you watch my last few videos, you can tell that my skin was, I mean, it was broken out like really, really bad guys. Um, I mean, obviously, if you didn't see the videos, the before and after pictures are here. They're here to tell the story. And y'all have been looking at my skin all day while I was hiking and everything. And my skin is literally glowing. So, yeah, I always do a little bit extra time because it just feels so good. So, yeah, you can just rinse the brush right with water and you don't have to worry about changing your brush head which is amazing. This thing is also completely waterproof, the Luna 3. So you can take it in the shower with you. It's bomb. It's, it's literally so good. It was actually created for those that go to the gym and uh, a lot of people will wait to shower and wash their face and everything until they get home from the gym. But really, whenever you're sweating, you need to you know wash your face, cleanse within 30 minutes because that's how you can prevent breakout. And so that, this little system, you can throw right in your gym bag. I should have brought it with me to uh, my brother's. All right. So I've literally only been using that skin script product. The face wash is by skin script and it's the green tea citrus cleanser. I purchased the large one but that's just the sample that my esthetician gave me and it's so nice i think i've been experiencing more oily skin instead of dry skin since i've been flying 
and yeah it i mean i love how it cleanses i won't say that like it's done anything miraculous for my skin yet because the foreo system is what really transformed my skin and helped all the breakouts and texture and everything but i do love just how simple it is and it smells good um it cleanses really well and it's not stripping i don't have any more kleenex hand towels i literally just ran out so i'm gonna have to use this towel but you guys know when i usually cleanse my face i use the kleenex hand towels just to pat dry them. so that's all i've been doing that's it and then i mean since i am getting ready for bed and all might as well go ahead and brush my teeth on camera before i say peace out to y'all because i'm gonna be so sweet so i also have the foreo uh toothbrush this is the isa 2 and this is my first time i accidentally started it but this is my first time using an electric toothbrush it is so easy <laughs> like i always thought they were a waste of money but no nah, dog nah. Like, it's crazy how your mouth gets so clean and you don't do anything. <laughs> you know, just, you know, hopefully y'all can understand what I'm saying, but you just focus on a certain area of your mouth until it tells you to go to the next place. I brush my teeth, I brush my tongue, obviously. So clean. I love how sleek this is. Um, I actually got an electric toothbrush thinking that I was gonna be going back to work <laughs> um, after my anemia and everything cleared up. But so I was like, you know what? It'd be really nice to have an electric toothbrush, you know, on layovers and all that type of stuff because I often switch out my toothbrushes where with this you're able to just you know switch out your brush head but i love how sleek it was it also came with a pouch like a travel pouch which was super nice okay so here's the pouch that the foreo luna 2 comes in and then you have a little toothbrush isa 2 pouch as well so i was like oh that's bomb but turns out your girl's not really going back to work anytime soon um if y'all want to find this in an update let me know but i love this i love that you know when your toothpaste and your gook from your mouth runs down you can literally cl clean this you know it's waterproof as well you can clean this with soap with your regular toothbrush i mean you can do that but this is just cleaner it's more sanitary both of these from Forio. i'm all with the being able to take things in the shower with me uh and just overall sanitary tools especially you know in the bathroom that i'm using on my body and all that stuff so yeah check out the luna 3 and the isa 2 from Forio. um i mean especially this luna 3 y'all y'all seen the results get your breakouts together help with fine lines cleanse massage you can use that on your self-care sundays when you know you just need a little treat for your face you know put a nice mask on and massage your mask in um it makes a world of difference for your texture and everything i mean you guys saw my face in the in the um the sun all day but yeah i am going to go to sleep Whew, because I feel so, I just feel so good. I mean, my hair looks crazy. I kind of tried to rinse my hair a little bit because I know there was some dirt in it. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what other videos you want to see down below in the comments. And we're almost to 100K. So don't disappoint your girl before my birthday, okay? Tell your mama, your daddy, your sister, your grandma, your baby daddy, um, your cousins. Tell your coworkers that she ain't seen in forever. Text them. Hey, just checking up on you. Want to make sure you're doing okay. Yeah, I found this girl on YouTube. Her name's just Chanel. Go follow. Go subscribe. <laughs> She's almost at 100K. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys, seriously, for all of the support. Um, it's my birthday month, so I will have a few more videos coming for y'all. Y'all know it's a birthday vlog coming. I have so many plans for my birthday. This is the first year I'm having a birthday party. So it's going to be lit. And I got... 
all my folks coming into town, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's just gonna be a good day, so it's gonna be a good weekend. So yeah, I'm super excited. Thank y'all again, and I will see you in the next upload. Bye!